Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I will have another episode of Vivaldi Browser Tips and Tricks video and I will talk about how to add a page to Vivaldi Browser reading list. If this is your first time or repeat visit, thank you for your support. On this channel, I am always trying new and different ideas. If you are into thinking outside the box, this is the channel for you. If you are looking for more Vivaldi Browser Tips and Tricks videos, there will be links in the description box below. So the way I differentiate between bookmark and reading list is uh, bookmark is permanent uh, and reading list also can be permanent but it's more user friendly when you're searching for a topic or researching any subject or you know searching for your travel or researching your travel then you can group them together and you can have quick and easy access to help you with your research. So today I'll show you how you can access or use reading list in Vivaldi browser. So we are looking at ameddon.com which is my own website and let's say you'd like to add this page to Vivaldi reading list and that's what I'll show you today. So the first thing you have to do you have to activate the reading list. Uh, for example if you look at this uh, page right now you see there's no reading list. So you can activate more than one way and the first way is that you can go to the menu which is going to be on the upper left corner where you'll see V which is right here. So click on it and then if you go to view and then here you're going to see that show panel or it also shows reading list panels. So if you just click on any one of those, so if you click on show panel then you see that there's a panel right here and this is where you're going to find the reading list and which is like right here it looks like a book so this is going to be your reading list now this is the slim version of the reading list if you click here again then you can see that it's expanding and this is your full reading list and you can just you know make it slimmer again and if you'd like to close it you can just uh, you know press F4 or you can uncheck that from the menu which I just showed you so I'll just you know press F4 on the keyboard and you can see that the reading list is gone and if you'd like to activate or bring up the reading list again then you can just you know click F4 again then you can see that it shows up now there's another way you can activate the reading list or you can bring up the reading list which is going to be on the lower left corner so if you take a look here then you can see that there's a reading list right here or actually it's a show panel button so if you click on it then it's going to show you the panel again and then here you can access the reading list again and if you do not want that then you can also click here again and then it will go away so let's say we have the reading list right here and if you'd like to add this page to the reading list then what you have to do so let's bring up the reading list and you see that there's a plus button right here. So if you click on it, then it's just going to add this page to the reading list. So let's say I'm going to open another tab right here. And let's say, you know, I'll just open uh, google.com. And let's say if I would like to save this, then I can just, you know, press here and you can see that you know it's adding Google to the reading list now you can actually search here uh, if you have like you know lots of uh, pages added to the reading list then you can just search and then it's going to give you exactly what you're looking for and then if you'd like to delete or remove a page from the reading list so you have to just click right and remove and that's going to remove the reading list so once we are here if you'd like to add it back then you can just you know click here and then it will add back your reading list so now you see here that there are check marks so what that means that you know you can mark them as uh, you finish reading so if you click on it then you're going to see that it changed to kind of an I that means that you have finished reading that page and if you have any other page which you didn't read then it's going to just show you this way so now if you'd like to make the reading list go away you can just click here and it will go away but if you bring it back then you can just you know click here again lower left corner or f4 or from the menu button or menu option then it's going to bring it again 
but if you'd like to see the slimmer version then you have to just click here again then it's going to you know go as a slim version of the reading list for my own use i always like the slimmer version uh, it looks very neat uh, because you know i don't like this way it takes some space but you can kind of like you know stretch it but it doesn't go beyond this point so you can like you know go further on the right but uh, for here you cannot make it slimmer beyond this point so i like to keep the slimmer version just the, by pressing here and also there's another option that you know you can sort here by st read state uh, so like you know items you have read or items you haven't read so that's the basics of Vivaldi reading list what I do not see here that I don't think you can group them together because I don't see that option but I, I, th I have a feeling that you know that's coming in the future but as of this uh, recording this video I don't see there is a way you can uh, group them together under each group for example let's say you are researching on Thailand uh, then you can just like you know have pages about travel to Thailand and you can re you're researching about buying a computer then you can have a group about you know computer but it looks like they don't have that option yet so that's how you use Vivaldi reading list Thank you for watching this video. There will be more videos coming up, so I'll see you shortly. Thank you.